Hi everyone, it's Sally from Strength Ambassadors here and today I want to talk about how to build a stronger pull off the floor. Um, the really good tactic to build strength in the pull off the floor and especially to build strength in your lower back is to use paused pulls or they're sometimes called halting pulls, especially in Olympic weightlifting. And you can apply this to any pull off the floor. So it could be um, a deadlift, it could be a snatch pull, a clean pull. You can use this pause technique or this halting technique to get a stronger pull. And the way it works is that the idea is to pause and hold for say three seconds in the weakest part of the pull where there's the most torque on the lower back. And this is where the hips are at their furthest away from the bar. And generally this is when the bar is right on the kneecap and the hips are right back and you get a really good stretch in your hamstrings. So here's an example of how this would work in the deadlift. So as you can see, it's really important to keep your form and really maintain your shape whilst you're doing this exercise, whilst you're in that pause, because that's the way that you get stronger in that position. So it's important to keep a really flat back, to try and have an arch in your lower back, to keep your shoulders pulled back and down so that they're not coming forwards and your chest isn't collapsing. And also to keep the bar close to you because when you pause at the kneecap the bar is going to want to swing out a bit in front of you so keep it really close because that's where you want it to be in the lift whether it's a, a deadlift or a snatch pull or a clean pull. Um, this exercise can be quite taxing so I recommend that you do it no more than once a week um, and maybe set yourself the task of doing a cycle of um, four to six weeks doing this exercise once a week on your, your chosen lift um, and then testing the full lift again at the end of the six weeks and you should find that you're stronger. I'd say do between three to five reps per set. If it's an Olympic lift variation, so if it's a snatch pull or a clean pull, um, best to do no more than three reps. Um, if you're doing a deadlift then you can do three to five reps per set. So maybe four or five sets, three to five reps per set and around three seconds for the pause or hold and um, that, that is quite enough work for one session believe me. If you find when you're doing this exercise um, that you're being pulled out of position and you're not able to keep that shape and keep that form then the weight's too heavy. I do recommend that you start quite conservative with this one until you're used to the exercise. Make sure that you can hold that position um, even with just an empty bar or with just the lightest plates on. And once you're confident that you know what shape you're supposed to be hitting and holding, then you can start to uh, move the weight up incrementally. Now I've talked about using this halting technique for snatch pulls and clean pulls, but of course you can also use it for the full lift, for the snatch or the clean. And it's a really good way to um, get stronger in your snatch pulls and your clean pulls. So the procedure is exactly the same. You set up for the lift, a uh, nice slow pull to the knee, and then pause, count down from three slowly. You don't have to count out loud, you can count in your head, but make sure you're going three, two, one, and not three, two, one. Um, and then do the rest of the movement, whether that's a snatch or a clean. So here's an example of what it would look like um, using the snatch. Three, two, one. So there you have it, a great tactic to improve your pull off the floor and get a stronger lower back. Try it for six weeks and let me know how you go. See you next time, bye.